Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Josh Strife Hayes, and this is Awful MMOs. I've spent years playing the best MMORPG games available. Now it's time to do the opposite and find the worst of the worst. I'm going to play them all so you don't have to. Join me on my journey through the most awful MMORPGs I can find. Drop a like on the vid and sub to the channel for more awful MMOs, and ring the bell so you don't miss a single vid. Today, we're playing League of Angels 3. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Josh Trifaze. This is Awful MMORPGs, the show where I'm going to download the worst MMORPGs I can possibly find and then go through and play them so you don't have to. Now, I've been finding these games by clicking on all of those browser adverts or sidebar ads or pop-up ads that you see everywhere. I know nothing about these games beyond the fact that they advertise themselves as MMORPGs. We're starting off with League of Angels 3. Now I've not played League of Angels 1 or 2, which might mean I'm missing a lot of the plot. I don't understand where the story goes to. The characters might be a little bit... they might already be developed. I don't think that's going to be the case, judging from the promotional artwork, but you know, the characters might have complex backstories that we don't know, so let's just see how we're going to go. I made an account earlier, but I haven't played it. I'm logging in using a fake email address, because there is no way I'm giving this thing my Facebook data. Right, here we go. League of Angels 3. Apparently it can be translated from Russian to English. I'll stick with English. And, uh, let's go. Now this is a Flash game, meaning you will need to have downloaded and enabled Flash on your device. It's okay, lots of real MMORPGs use Flash, such as... Adventure Quest Worlds. And others. Right, here we go. I can be a female or a male. Ooh. Well, the artwork's, the artwork's nice. That's very terror. I'm feeling that's very terror. I like how the, the given nickname changes every time you change your gender. Barak's Van. Goner. Oni, Onimoit. Onimoit. Shermo. I'm not sure what that... Oh, it's a dice roll. That's the worst dice graphic I've ever seen. It's just a one and then a tiny... The angle of that dice is awful. AJ. Yeah, we're going to be nitpicking, by the way. I'm going to go with the dude, because I'm a dude and I like playing... I like playing as guys. Let's see if I can... Can I not... Can I not click to change my own nickname? You can't... I'm clicking on the thing. I can't actually... Set my... It also says down there, a character will be automatically created to start the game in 25 seconds. This game has no patience. Wow. You cannot set your own nickname. Okay, I guess we're playing as Sh Shermio? AJ. Off Offdar. Hafega? Einshope. Einshope. Alright, we're being Einshope. Let's see. Come on, Einshope. Let's go. That is the League. That picture right there, that is actually the League of Angels. The third League of Angels. Apart from the devil girl at the front. She looks a bit evil. They're all very much of a muchness, aren't they? Goodness me, League of Angels, how loud do you want to be? Alright, we've got some epic, epic music. Oh! Oh no! No, look at the pixel. <laughs> There's at least five pixels. Stop the dragon's invasion and save- I couldn't read it in time. Dear player, we're sorry to inform you that due to your browser or graphic driver, this may accept your hardware- <laughs> I'm playing on a maxed out PC and you're a browser game. There is no way you're better than my graphics card. Update the graphics driver. How about no? Right, okay. I'm going to play this anyway. So what do I do? Right, um... The game is frozen. It's not... Keys don't do anything. Oh, goodness me. Okay, it's just taken ages to load. The fate of the angels is in your hands. Get started. We'll close in 10 seconds. This game has no patience. Click to start. I'm I'm running. I ran to... Oh, there's, there's a lot going on on this screen. Alright, calm it down, League of Angels. Let's just go through this. I'm guessing that's me up there. Oh my god, you've got 20 seconds before the, the boxes automatically close. Could you be the chosen one? Oh heavens be with me, we're in dire need of your help. The divine Armus and angels have been scattered over the continent. They're angels, they can fly, just bring them back. 
Apparently, if I do this, I get the Bloodbath Sword. Complete. Ex oh, brilliant! Fantastic. I've leveled up. Auto quest is available and happening. I'm sorry to burden you with this, but we need you to collect all the Divine Armus and unite all the heroes. Oh, my BR points have gone up. Another thing, look at that. 3,481 BR. Suck it, people with less than that number. Right, oh, oh, it's an autoplay game. Excellent, I can just sit back and do nothing. This is fan. Let's just have a look at the UI for a second. So I've got 2,000 coins, which is good. Um, I've got... I haven't got any diamonds. No, topaz. I did another quest, and I got the... Ah, oh, brilliant, I was looking for that. I was looking for the glory of Freeman. Marcus, the angels want you to collect all the divine armors and unite all the heroes. I have seen such fragment in Natasha's possession. To ensure a smooth game experience, your graphics will be adjusted. Okay. That's, you do what you think you need to do, game. I'll, I'll, I'll defer to your judgment on this, even though I don't think you're right. Left click to continue. Left click to claim. I get 500 gold, some experience scrolls, and some experience. Excellent. Oh, good. I'm level 5? I'm really glad that we played this, guys. I'm level 5 already. You came, Chosen One. Could you protect me while I erect? Be mature. A magical barrier around the capital. If the ritual gets interrupted, Everlast. Is that apparently where we are? We're in Everlast. Isn't that... That's a sports brand, isn't it? I think there's going to be a, a copyright war going on there. Watch out and attack. Okay. Um, watch out and attack. Ooh. We're in combat, apparently, but it's loading the combat. Like, I'm not lying, okay? I'm running an i7 processor. I've got a decent graphics card in here. You guys have seen me play The Witcher 3 on max graphics. You've seen me play anything I need to play on max graphics. Wait, what? This is Final Fantasy. It's... It's a turn-based combat system. And I don't even get to pick my turns. I just... I just wait. Oh, the goddess shows up. I shall be your shield. You haven't even got a shield. You've got a big sword. Hey. So she showed up to be my shield and then the combat stops. That's it. That is all we get. Oh no, she's standing in front, is she? I shall be... Stop saying I shall be your shield. You don't have a shield. War armor. Unbreakable. There's a lot of things happening. Very quickly. Two hit. I can't even see the total damage. Numbers are... You're a divine guardian chosen to guard the glory of Freeman. Oh, the glory of Freeman is a thing, but Everlast is the place we're in. We divine guardians are the key for exerting the full power of the Divina armor. Okay. I am the chosen one. Let us restore the glory together to battle. You just had to jump in to save me, and now you think, yeah, he's good enough to come with you. Okay. I've not seen many good judgement calls so far. My lord, I swear absolute loyalty to you. Good! Finally! Things are looking up. I'm getting... I'm getting my League of Angels. That's what I'm getting. Ein's Hope. Brilliant. Ooh, fan... Oh, that's very epic music. I got rewards. I did well. Can I move? Can I actually double click to stop tracking? Right, so I actually can control this, I just need to click. So I click, and it, it moves around. Now for saying that this needs flash, this is very impressive. For a flash-based game, this is very, very impressive. I've got several seconds left to claim the Fragment of the Divine thing. So I'm going to claim that. Excellent, we've got this. Stop taking me places, game! I want to play the game! Stop it! Right, I don't want to claim you from Marcus. I will talk to Marcus when I'm good and ready for it. Let's just go through. Up there is a picture of me. I didn't have any chance to customise my character, so that's just me. Deal with it. Title. Do I have any titles? Let's have a look. Okay, Slayer. Executioner. Arena King. So, you can get titles. 
Bonus for all deployed units. Oh, so titles aren't just cosmetic. Titles actually give you... I like how the character hasn't loaded, so it's just a head and a sword. Oh, you can unlock them. I bet you have to pay to unlock them. Can I turn these graphics down somehow? Because this is awfully optimised. The, the, the title menu hasn't actually gone anywhere. I've clicked off... I clicked the little X in the title menu and the box is... This is how we're playing the game now. This is how the game is going to be played. Let's go to settings and just see if I can get the display... Display settings are on as low as they can be. What on earth does high look like? Like, if I put them on high, what on earth is this going to do to the... Nothing changed. Nothing changed at all. This is the game now. This is how we play it. I need to get rid of this title box. Oh, good, it went away, finally. Good, the title one goes. Prologue, Dusk of Everlast. Yo, um, Marcus, help me out, mate. The power of one person is never enough. Sylvia is the divine guardian of the glory of Freeman and will be of great help to you during your upcoming battles. I'm not voice acting this well on purpose. If I find a character who I believe deserves voice acting, I'll do it. Okay, let's complete that again. Excellent. Oh, good, I leveled up. New hero. The girl that just saved me. Sylvia, defensive hero. Nice, she has three attacks, weighted strike, impenetrable defense, and saintly judgment. Awesome, so my my team is getting ready. Before we count, let's just have a look again. I want to have a look. BR, I'm not sure what BR is. Okay, fine, yes, game. Make the graphics crap, that's fine. So, whoa, that is a flashing gold coin up there. Why is that? If I click on that, does something happen? Why is XP flashing down here? There's a coin flashing up there in XP. What does that do? How to obtain, buy from store, rename card. Wow, you have to actually pay to rename your character, but we couldn't even name them to start off with. Recharge, what does recharge do? Oh, 399.99 is the first thing it offers you. What? 400? That's not even cheaper. Look, you can get 10,000 of these things for 200, or 20,000 for 400. In fact, it's actually one cent more expensive to buy that one. And then, normally the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. It's 100 for 5,000, 200 for 10,000. This, this is not cheaper. There's no incentive to buy more. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Obviously, yes, game, make yourself crap, it's fine. VIP, is that different? Right, VIP gift pack, recharge. Also, the more topaz you buy, the higher your VIP level gets. And then as you advance through, so VIP four is the best. You get the legendary hero plus an omen shard. All right, I'm okay without that. 300, current stamina. Stamina recharges by one. It's a stamina based game as well. This is freaking Farmville with angels. V, VIP and active. Experience. Main character experience rate is times a... Why is it 150%? I've done nothing. Okay, that's all complex over there. What's over here? Shipwright coupon. What do you do? Oh, you are a place to buy things again. Okay, so we could buy things from you. Magni... <laughs> I like how it can't even fit the word Magnificent Griffin Awakened. It can't even fit Magnificent in one line. So it's Magnifice Nut... Griffin Awakened. And what is that? I'm playing on like a big this is a big monitor. This is a this is a 1440 monitor and it can't even fit on. This is awful. Um okay. Magnificent Griffin Awakened. Artifact coupon. This is just more stuff that I don't need right now. Creation equipment pack. Even more microtransactions. Events. Yeah, what's going on? What's going on in the world? Okay, that's the Magnificent Griffin Awakened I've just seen. He sold someone. Let's just play the game for a bit. Let's let's come back to this later. It's it's intriguing, but we'll come back to it later. And it's a click to continue over here. Ooh, there's a battle going on, guys. That's the battle music. I kind of want to actually be involved with the battle. Is this okay? I'm not cutting off the bottom of the screen here with my cropping. That is legit what it looks like to me. It looks like they're missing parts of the screen. Because you see down here, the chat, if I move slightly, you'll see that the chat is fine. But 
Oh good, I won. Excellent, I'm glad. I'm just going to sit here and drink a protein shake for a bit. You know what? This game can play itself. That's fine. I don't even need to be here. It's somewhat bad game design when the least important part of the game is the player. In my philosophy of game design, the player is a somewhat essential part of the game, a somewhat important bit. Natasha, come, let me reforge the divine armor. So are you saying this sword that we've been looking for, that needs to save the world, was literally just hanging around the starting area, the tutorial? I didn't even need to be here. Excellent. You click here to unlock the glory of the divine, glory of the freeman thing. The divine armor. I'm guessing that means armament. Click to unlock. These little flashing squares of XP. That's, that's on my screen as well. My lord, the divine armor belongs to you. From now on to the end. On to the end. They were probably going to go with the kind of Shakespearean unto the end, but translation is hard, I understand. The game is now just frozen. Didn't I have white hair? In my little character portrait, I swear I've got white hair. But I had brown hair in that... Look! That isn't even me! My character portrait is not actually my character. Let's carry on. Auto quest. Double click to stop tracking. No, no. New mail? Ooh, we have a new mail. League of Angels 3 GM. You have unlocked armor reinforcement. Thanks. Awesome. Brilliant. We got more rewards. This is all style and no substance at all. This is so flashy. Oh, good. Well, that's a graphical change. That's a complete graphical change. You look like you're 3D rendered actually quite well. You don't look like you know how to harness the divine skills of your divine armor. You will need more battles to get used to it. Well, yeah, I've been playing for 15 minutes. I don't expect to be able to use the weapon of the gods. Why are those things flashing? Start battle again. How do I turn off auto battle? If there's an auto battle, can I... What is that? If I click that, the auto battle feature is unlocked at 22. Keep battling. I'm... I want the auto battle feature off. Oh, wait. I have to click these things, do I? So, I have to click those things. This game is lagging so much. I need some energy to do this. Can I make this full screen somehow? I... Oh, there's a there's a skip to the end button in the corner over there. Cannot skip this battle. What if I just do nothing? What if I just don't click anything and just sit here? Because, oh, I see, my armor power charges up. And then I can release the power of your weapon to increase all your companion's attacks for two turns. This is an active time battle system where you will... Oh, good, I won again. Excellent. I'm glad that happened. We'll close in eight seconds. I'm using the updated and the most up-to-date Google Chrome. I've got really good graphics cards and a really good processor, and yet it is lagging like hell. How do I make this... I, I can't make this full screen. There's no full screen button anywhere. I'm looking around. I'm trying to find one. I mean, I could F11, I suppose. Nope. Apparently it does not like F11. Oh, good. We've got the constellation. New feature. Constellation. I'm going to be honest, game. I'm not really up to date with your current features. So, oh, good. Lelaine. We've finished her. I'm level 15. I am blitzing through this game. This is great. This is just, this is solid, decent gameplay right here. Help. I think I do want to click help at some point. Graphics have been modified. Just yeah, close that. Marcus giving me chosen one. Each constellation is a beacon of hope. Light up constellations to bring hope back to the continent and call upon more strength. Can I leave this area? Is there a map? There is a map. State gallery. What's the gallery about? Let's have a look at the gallery. Gallery. Oh, that's With where I can. Sword, I shall protect our kingdom. Okay, that's loud. Do each of them have a have a, a thing that they say when you select them? Mm, apparently not. With this sword, I shall protect our kingdom. Okay, they've got one dialogue line each. I've got a level up gift. Awesome. Eh, fantastic. 
to claim XP, reward, increase burr. Always increase your burr, guys. I like how everything layers over everything else. I mean, look, you've got you've got all these buttons up here that are layering on the top. You've got this divine armor that's actually kind of underneath it. You've got also oh, when you hover over it, it shows when you hover over it. Then you've got this little pop up over the top of the constellation. I can't click on the constellation. You've got this girl down here who's just super happy. Each time the main car gains a level, a star can be lit up. When a constellation is lit up, you gain a bonus reward. So click on constellation. This is awful. I can scroll up and down. This is just dire. Absolutely dire. I can probably scroll to, what, there? That's probably the best way to get the, the full thing. Lighting up a star in the astral field highly boosts attributes of all units. I don't think I need to boost anything right now. I seem to just be auto-leveling my way through the game, to be honest. Good job. Now we light up the next star. How many systems have we had so far? Light up this star. I mean, I'm just clicking on things. Unlock all. Oh, hang on. We've suddenly got really smooth graphics. What's going on with this? Suddenly the graphics are like super duper smooth. I can't get rid of th this, 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 this big thing here and I just can't get rid of it. If I click to continue, why is this here still, this box? Oh good, the battle, I can't even see, I'm just gonna click. I'm so good, I don't even need to see. Finally, the battle is actually playing smoothly. The game has smoothed out and I can't see. Precise strike onto you, yeah. This is this is a pro game of strats right here, guys. You don't even need to see this game. Brilliant. Victory? As if you expected anything else. Seriously though, why is this thing here? Is this Is it the constellation? It's not the constellation menu. It's not the divine armor menu. What menu is the it's gone now. Oh good. And now we're back to lagging. Maybe it only didn't lag because half the screen was taken up by a massive window. Guard of Everlast. Oh good, the quest's been done again. I'm level 17. Recruit. I can recruit angels. Oh good. Click here to perform a normal recruitment. Okay. Brilliant. We've got that hero with us as well now. Flora. She's a healing hero. Fantastic. And now, are we going to fight again? It seems that whenever the screen empties of enemies... There's going to be... Look at me with my non-white hair. She's huge! She is a giant. Welcome welcome to the party indeed, Flora. Welcome. Come and join us. And I'm not... Did they just program in one pose for that guy? Is that it? Unlocked. Unlock divine skills. Stuff... I'm not even clicking, okay? I'm just... As soon as you hover the mouse over something in this game, stuff pops up. You don't even need to click. You just hover and you immediately get like a major screen filling pop up. What what if what happens if I click on this sword? The glory of Freeman. Excellent. Uh, owned. Fragment reward. Complete the main quest. Complete the main quest. Complete the main quest. Click to continue. Thank Michaela for helping you recruit heroes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Natasha set to claim. Joins when clear main task. So I'm going to get her eventually. And that's obviously going to be my League of Angels 3. This would probably make so much more sense if I played League of Angels 1 and 2. Another wave of enemies. Marcus, I've got to be honest, mate. Your defences are a little bit shoddy. The fact that all of the enemies are getting into... Could you not autoplay game? Could you... Could you maybe let me play the game? It doesn't even say accelerate. It says accelerate down there. A C C E L E R A T. Accelerate. Manual. The auto battle feature is unlocked. At Maybe it's auto battle for those guys, but manual for me. So it just involves me clicking. It's just click. Just click on things. The graphics aren't bad. The combat system's probably fine. But I'm not getting to experience it. This is the worst. Oh, you've got to wait several turns before you can use those attacks again. And this... 
Can we speed the battle up two times? Accelerati? Oh, so it, it's not that they've actually spelt it wrong, it's that they've translated it wrong. They've put the wrong language translation in. Complete? There wasn't even a space there between the word complete and timely. It was complete timely help. There's a lot going on. I'm having a lot thrown at me very quickly here. Yes, I'll complete that quest. Fantastic, we've done another quest in this area. And then, that's not me, is it? That's some guy with a with a horse. Is that, have they just given me a load of armor and some kind of awesome forest stag? This is a common trope. New feature, mount. That's a pretty cool looking mount, actually. This is a, I don't even have the armor that I just had in the cutscene. This is a common trope that you get with a lot of over-the-top click-fest games like this, is they start off so epic that they're actually not epic. They've got nowhere to go. Marcus is asking for my help again. Is he? Don't be like this. All right, follow me. So when you click to skip, it doesn't actually fill in the dialogue, let you read it, and then skip. It just skips instantly. It just goes straight to the next thing. Ooh. Oh, good, and now we've got pirates. Now we've got pirates. We're on a pirate ship now. Tabitha. Fire, dragons, progeny? Progeny. I'm pretty sure that's meant to be progency, but progeny. We'll, we'll go with progeny. You, you've written you've written the word game. We'll trust you with this one. The progeny. Oh, God. You know what? I'm just not going to do anything. I'm just going to see what happens if we don't do anything here. Like, if I don't use any of my own attacks, do we still win? I am not going to click a single attack. I can... Tabitha is too strong, apparently. Stay behind me, says my helpers. Tabitha does some stuff. We get attacked. Yep, Tabitha dies. Maybe we can take out her minions. Saintly judgment happened. I'm sure that does something. Look, this is a game design choice that I really... Oh, good, we've won. Well done. This is a game design choice that I really disagree with. If you immediately thrust the player into a super overpowered, super unkillable situation, they don't feel powerful. That's not how you make someone feel powerful. Power is a sliding scale. It starts from none and goes to a lot of power. Wherever you start on that scale actually becomes your non. That becomes your anchoring point. If, like Dark Souls, you start off with nothing, that's your anchor point. And then when you get everything, you can see the progression. This game, however, you're starting off with basically everything. Which means when the game says, Ooh, you've now got a super amazing overpowered sword, you're kind of thinking, I don't care. I had that anyway. There's no progression. All the progression here is visual, if that at all, because it's just giving me some armor. You can see it's just giving me some armor. Let's see if the game is actually going to let me keep that armor when when it changes back to the game away from this cutscene. I mean, all the cutscenes seem to be filmed using the in-game engine, which is nice at least. Okay, yes, but is it the same armor? Let's just have a quick check. It might be. I can't seem to rotate the camera. There's, can, can I? I can't rotate. Oh, the camera is right click. You've got to hold right. Can you just see how much st Okay, so I just discovered that zoom in and zoom out is scroll mouse wheel forward and scroll mouse wheel back, but it's still connected to the fact that it's a Google Chrome window and it scrolls the window up or scrolls the window down as I do this. There's no way to just lock it to the game. What is that thing there? Lock? I don't think that'll do anything. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, what's next? Talk to Michaela. Okay, let's use my mount to go back to Michaela. I'm glad I've got a mount to cover that much distance. Your unwavering spirit is a real blessing. I literally did nothing, Michaela. I literally stood there and let the three angels that have joined me do the whole battle. Oh, there's another battle autoplay. What's happening now? Oh, there's more. Let's just see what happens if I just click randomly. 
The music is so generic. It sounds like every adventure film you ever watched when you were a kid. This is awful. I'm trying to think of more stuff to say that I haven't already said, but the game is just doing the same thing it's done for the last 20 minutes. Oh good, I'm glad we won. Complete Dragon Soldiers attack. They keep forgetting to put spaces. I love how I keep getting the MVP for best damage. Like, I do 83% of the damage, despite the fact that I'm not special in any way. I've got 10 out of 22 to get Natasha. I get the Bloodbath Sword, apparently. Can I check my equipment anyway? Is there... Can I have a look at the equipment screen? Alright, good. Bloodbath Sword. What, what, why are these flashing up on the screen? Bloodbath Helmet. Bloodbath Armor. Bloodbath Belt. Yeah, that's a good one. Can I upgrade the sword? Ten levels? Enhance? Oh, so you need to spend gold to enhance things. I've got nearly a quarter of a million gold, so let's just enhance my sword by ten levels. And again. Oh, I see. There's level two. That's confusing. Right. So the sword is currently level two, but it's enhancing toward level three. But the numerical values in between the enhancements are actually called levels as well. So clicking 10 levels doesn't actually enhance it 10 levels. It enhances it 10 mini levels between what it's on and what it's going to. That's that's really bad optimization game. And enhancement can't hire. Enhancement can't hire. It can't hire than one XMC level. Obviously, I should have known that. Sorry, game. Sorry for being so dumb that I didn't realise that Enhancement can't level more than one XMC level. It's it's obvious when you think about it. Quest complete. I'm level 26. Like, if this was RuneScape, I would be doing so damn well by now. Double click the ground to stop. Let's just stop the tracking and just go around. Can we just see what else? You've got to use the right mouse stick to move around. Because... What's the map? Do we have a map? You are here. Everlast. And then there's a ship above you. Tempest Keep. I'm sure that's a terror dungeon. You've got Paramount. That's an interesting name for a place, actually. Galandel. <laughs> Fairies coming. <laughs> Be mature. We are a mature channel. Stop it. Stop laughing. Take this game seriously. This is League. This ain't League of Angels 1 or 2, alright? This is their third outing. They know what they're doing. And if they want to call a place fairies coming, they can. Um, the, is this the desert called Gobi? Like, literally, it's the Gobi Desert. Deserted land. Like how the desert goes into the deserted land. Misty forest. The Wailing Silver... Have you genuinely called the place Silver Moon? I think Blizzard need to have a bit of a word with you there. The Divine Wrath Valley. Alright, this is the Grace Continent. Let's go back to Everlast. Let's see what happens when we travel around. Hang on, is there a description of it? A human military city in the northwest of Grace Continent, directly opposite a dragon settlement on Highwind Plateau. Oh, that's over there, Highwind Plateau, but obviously we can't read it all because it cuts off. Freeman I... Freeman I, I see, resettled his people in Aspeni Crater at the Rock of Neverfall and exploited the mountainous terrain to establish the capital of the Freeman Kingdom, Chasm City. Okay. Right. There's a lot of history here. Not None of it's very good, but there's a lot of history. Let's see what else we've got. Um, hero. Aha. We can finally have a look at what I've got. Oh, no, this actually just lets you see what everyone else has got as well. Oh, once again, we don't need to load the rest of the body, just the head and the sword is fine. Advance. Augment. Awaken, empower, promote. And for some reason, they're all hyperlinks. I don't know why. If I click advance, what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. But it's a hyperlink. Okay. That text overflows onto the rest of the game. Enlarge. Enlarge the hero. That just gets just gets rid of things. Change logo. I'm not sure why I want to change the logo. I'm fine with the logo as it is. Diamond conver <laughs> Again, it can't fit the words on. 
Diamond Conversio. No. And now I... Now I can't get rid of this. Now I, I literally cannot get rid of this box. That's the problem. You start the box and it just stays there. Fine. I guess that's how we're playing it. I guess we're auto-questing until the box decides to get rid of itself. Oh good, I've gone... Wow, you own a divine armor. Wendy, you are so far behind. You have no idea. The name's Wendy. Uh, Teresa asked you to find me. I will go to her now. You be careful, okay? Yeah, all right. It's fine. I'll, I'll do that. Talk to Wendy. Done. Auto completed. Battle progress. I'm up to 14,000 BR. Battle rating. Big rank. I don't know. I do like the fact that when this, when this is on the screen, this big box that just shows my head and a sword, the game plays really smoothly. Like it's super smooth right now. The, the, the combat is happening, I can hear the sound effects. This is really, really, really buttery smooth. But as soon as this box goes away, the game's like, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot process those graphics. You cannot. I can, my PC can run Deus Ex on Max. All right, that's a tough game to run. and But no, the uh, League of Angels 3, I've just noticed as well that uh, this this website isn't actually secure. I've cropped the top so you don't see the, you don't see the full thing, but I'll, you know, I'm gonna take a Gaiazzo screenshot right now. I'm gonna prove this. I'm gonna Gaiazzo screenshot this whole thing just to show you that this isn't secure. There we go, I've taken a screenshot to prove to you this is not secure. Maybe if I open the map again, no, that's Gaiazzo. Maybe if I open the map again and then get rid of the map, this box will go. Nope. No, the box stays. The box stays now. The box is part of the game. Oh, thank God. It's oh, another box popped up and got rid of it. Recruit. Click here to perform an elite recruitment times 10. Spend one recruitment scroll three. I haven't even used a recruitment scroll one. Okay, fine. There we go. Max... Oh, no, no, the thing is still there. Katrina. She's a DPS hero. Good stuff, Katrina. Good stuff. I like how this box just will not go. No matter what you do, the box just will not leave you. If I open a load of other boxes, will it will it get rid of it? How do I get rid... Battle Goat? What? Oh, that's the name of the mount. That's a pretty cool name of the mount, to be honest. I can't get rid of the box. I literally can't do it. It's, it's just staying there. I'm going to have to find a way to get rid of this box and play the rest of the game. Um, new feature, guild. Oh, thank God. Thank God I can play this with someone else. Oh, guys, if you want to join in with this, the mag a hero can be leveled up. Can they? Click here and select level up. Why is my mount still there? I've opened the hero menu and yet the mount... It seems that there's a, <laughs> there are some assets in each pop-up menu that just don't unload. So when you open the mount menu, all of the heads up display when you unload the mount menu goes away, but the actual mount stays. And then when you open the hero menu, everything goes away apart from the background graphic of the menu. So right now it looks like I'm upgrading the mount, but I'm not, I'm upgrading Katrina. Oh good, the mount goes away when something unloads it. Pay tribute to the Rose Empire. All right, Katrina, calm it down. I will pay tribute to who I choose to. Hey. Click to close the panel. I'm, oh, believe me, game, I am trying to close the panel. There's quests. Quest description. Quests. Nope. Maybe we'll just, maybe if I just play through the game until something unloads this box. How do you take this long to load? Like, you guys have seen me play Neverwinter, and Terror, and Black Desert Online. I'm liking all the numbers. The numbers are good. I'm not quite liking how often the word crit comes up, seeing as crit normally means critical hit. And none of this seems that critical. Manual? <clears throat> Can I... Have I... I've, I've clicked select target. Okay. I'm clicking manual to put it on manual mode. Oh! Oh, I can put it on auto mode, which auto uses my attacks? So it wasn't even on auto mode. That was just regular gameplay. Oh good, I've got some of the pear light. Purple bars. That looks exactly like the stuff from Borderlands 2. 
Enhancing equipment. It's another hyperlink. The game is running buttery smooth now. Again, look at that. Once it's smooth, it's... It's garish. But it's pretty. All right, I'll give it that. It's garish as hell. But it is pretty. Oh, good, the box went away. And I've got wings. Fantastic. All right, we're never opening the hero menu again. We can't do it. If we open the hero menu, then we lose the, the rest of the game. So I've got wings. Good. Accept quest, continuous battle. I'm up to even more BR points. Oh, there's more people. So if I just click... Like it's on auto right now. Does that mean that I'm going to use my attacks when I get them ready? Is that what's... Yeah, it seems that... I think that's it. I think whenever I get to the auto attack, it just auto attacks for me. Well, we're almost 50 minutes... No, 40 minutes into this game and I'm having an absolute great time. I'm loving life right now. Oh, brilliant. They all upgraded. Why is the first angel that I got front and centre of my party? Why, why is she the main character right now? The game can't even decide what my hair colour is. The game can't decide if I'm the main character. I'm a messenger boy with a, a harem of angels right now. And I'm level 34. 40 minutes. I've nearly made a level a minute. It's insane. And I've spent most of my time just messing around with the menus. You're a flash game. How are you taking this long to load? Oh, there's a dragon. I will protect my friends, say I. Normally there's a video game concept where the main character tends not to talk too much because they are a self-insert character. They're a blank slate you want to project on. It's kind of implied that you as a player want to protect your friends. I like how the game went black there for a second. Graphics were too much for it. If you're going to have a character say, I want to protect my friends, have, I don't know, the girl who joined me specifically to protect me say it. That sounds like a good... Uh, a good character that would fit. I'm not even clicking, by the way. I'm literally just watching this gameplay itself. But to have your own character, your self-insert character. I am the Divine Guardian Natasha. Let me help you in stopping the dragon's rampage. Well, you could have joined in before the battle started, Natasha. My divine armor, also your weapon, has been sealed within the depths of the Asmia pit. And only you can break its seal. Only me. Oh, not even you. No other player. Just me. I suddenly feel a lot more important. Maybe I should start to protect. What is that? Why are there more buttons? First time recharge, event, direct shop. Oh, so that's the direct shop, but all these things are not. Wheel of Fortune, Egg Cracker, Angel's Ark. What is the angel? I'm going to risk it and click it. I'm going to risk the click. The Angel's Ark. Oh, so is that is that where we are? We are on the Angel's Ark, and things are happening. Now, if I get... Oh, good. If I get rid of that, it unloads. Good. What else have we got? Wheel of Fortune. That sounds fun. Yeah. That was a rather sexual moment, but okay. Event ended. Oh. Wow. So, you can't even click on it. Hello. I forgot what your name was. You swear absolute loyalty to me. Why? Splinter of Stardust. They've done that thing where they just name everything, like, massively over the top. So, have I finally not got any actual things to do? Has it finally stopped auto-tracking me for everything? Can I claim you? Brilliant, I've claimed... I've claimed you as a hero. Enhance times ten. Let's enhance some more things. This is actually a psychological game development trick where you throw so many, so many systems at a player at the same time, they get completely overwhelmed. So they spend all their time and all their effort and all their money leveling up one system. Then they think, oh crap, I've got like three or four other systems I've got to go and level up. And then they spend real money to do it. It's not designed to be good. It's designed to be uh, extortionate. Tutorial. Enhance equipment. Just enhance equipment. Just, also, game, could you choose a font and stick to it? Like, we've got, the VIP is a different font to the BR letters, to the actual character name, to the recharge. 
all these things seem to be roughly the same. But uh, then you've got regular fonts over here. You've got bigger ones down here. The store is, I think, the same as the BR up there. You've got a lot of fonts going on all in one go. Amount can be advanced. Oh, good. Because it wasn't advancy enough. Oh, is the goat going to stay on the screen? It hasn't even loaded. Grade plus one. Also, mounts have grades and not levels. Obviously. Unlock Fleet Wolf. Excellent. I've got that. This just looks like they've ripped assets from somewhere else. Advance? Do I want to advance the Fleet Wolf? Alright, advance mount to level two. I'm advancing it. It's not enough advancement materials. Not enough advancement materials. Get rid of you, but you're going to stay, obviously. This is so badly optimized. I can't imagine you'd have a better experience playing this on Internet Explorer, playing this on you know, any other browser. I'm just clicking on stuff. Because this is another problem with AutoQuest. Because the game hasn't actually explained to me what to do. Like, I don't know. I've, who do I talk to? Where do I go? What do I click to accept quests? Oh, fantastic. I've got the golden light, which is a pair of wings. Can I morph into the golden light? Do they... Why are the wings that are meant to be entirely limited to this box, why are they clipping out the edge here? What is meant to happen with that? Quests, part two, vengeful rage. Let's talk to Teresa. Oh, so the hyperlinks actually take you somewhere. The hyperlinks send you to places. I'm not leaving until I get my hands on that bimbo. Wow. All right, Teresa, calm it down a bit. How dare she do that to Lane? Yeah, how dare she? I mean, obviously, I know what you're talking about, Teresa, but why don't you fill me in on what you think you're talking about, and then I'll tell you if you're correct. Because, you know, one of us has been playing... If you've been paying attention to the plot and you actually know what she's annoyed at, leave it in the comments below, because I'm going to be... I'm going to level with you. I've got no idea. Wendy says, Teresa's letting her emotions get the better of her. Please board the airship first. I will go calm her down. There's no need to worry. Okay. I will board the... I thought we were on the airship, to be honest. It seemed very airshipy. Oh, I like how all these things are still flashing around super obviously. As the commander of Everlast, my duty is with the city. So we are in a city. Board the airship and leave at once. This is an order. Well, I mean, I've got angels swearing fealty to me, mate, so you don't order me around. But I will go, because I choose to. Left click to, came. to claim. Oh good, more stuff has happened. Red and black, another font. On the coarse sandstone of... You know what? It, does, it doesn't matter. It wasn't important. I didn't even click. It just got rid of itself. Advanced wings to level two. Talk to Michaela. Let's... Oh, the airship automatically flies to Tempest Keep. Maybe Tempest Keep will be less laggy. Who knows? Let's find out as Tempest Keep loads. You having fun? I'm having fun. League of Angels 3. This has actually convinced me to go back and play League of Angels 1 and 2. Tempest Keep is actually less laggy, but that does not mean it is good. Welcome to Tempest Keep, part of the Angel's Domain. You'll be safe here for now. Let's hope the tides of war will settle soon. You should go look for your friends. Okay. Um, where? Why? How? Who? When? Advance wings, can I do that? Advance my wings, grade. Excellent, my wings have gone up. I've got better wings. Done. Advanced wings to grade two. A divine armor can be advanced. Okay. Why? That's done. Can, can you be advanced? Oh, I unlocked you. Not enough resources. What do I need? I need... Again, why do you clip out of the box? Divine Guardian Natasha. She's a heal guardian. Can I enhance ten levels? Excellent, you've been done. But you need to click again on the quest to complete it once you've done it. Sup, Natasha? Yep, I'm glad I'm... Solaris Floof? What a great name! I got stuck with stupid Ein's Hope. You got Solaris Floof. Talk to Michaela. Can you actually... Hang on, I'm going to try and manually play this. Can you actually talk to them without... So, the game... 
you can talk to them without actually auto playing it. But the game, the cursor turns into that click and drag hand cursor from from like Microsoft Word or something. You came, chosen one. Those wings look well on you. They look well on me. Yes, language is hard. Take out the dragon's new wings unlocked. That's a bit, a bit of a backhanded compliment, Michaela. Those wings look really good on you, but why don't you have some other ones? I'm like, okay. If they don't look good, Michaela, just say. Just be honest, just say, look, those wings don't look good on you. Wings 2. Everlast's brilliance. Okay. Do they... Oh, bonus for all deployed units. So you actually do get bonuses with... And you can ascend the wings. Even more systems. Even more. Let's... Oh, God, the box is still there. Fine, screw it. We've got to... The only way to get rid of the box is just to play the game until something happens which unloads the box. There we go. Rift Valley. Challenge Rift Valley. Normal or Elite? Let's challenge them with a normal difficulty. What is a challenge? Valerie's Brilliant is apparently the name of that specific pirate-looking set. My god, the hat's exactly the same. They just resized it slightly. That's not even a character wearing the hat. That's just a graphic of the hat. Oh, no! No, the box didn't unload. The box actually remained loaded while we got to the battle. So my first experience of a big major battle is actually going to be... You can't even rotate the camera in the battle. Oh, good, we won. Fantastic. You can't rotate the camera. You literally just can't do it. Oh, we battle again, do we? There's... There's more battles to go. There are more battles. There's nothing I can click on. There's nothing I can click away with. The wings are... We won again. We won. I'm good at this game. I am very good at this game. Uh, more battles? I like how it's... You've got the chat boxes down here. If I move slightly and show you guys the chat boxes. Right. You've got... Uh, look at this. You've got... Down here in the corner you got general, but obviously it's... The, the text is too big, so it just says Jenna. You've got world, which is work. Guild, cross, and wars. Oh, good. We all won. Excellent. I'm glad that we all won. That makes me feel really accomplished. Daily sign-in bonuses. Oh, okay. Another reward for more stuff. VIP level in... So you actually don't get daily sign-in bonuses. You only get daily signing bonuses if you're a VIP and you level your VIP up through buying Topaz? Online gift. The longer you're online, the better the rewards. Okay, so how long? Total time online, five minutes. Claim. Oh, okay. But the... Right, so the online time claim only starts when you claim the previous one. So I've got to actually be here for 10 minutes and then claim that, and then be here and then claim that. I can't just leave this running in the background and claim them all in one go. wonder how high this goes. What's the, the total one? 10, 15, 30. Oh, so it's only 60 minutes. So it's only rewarding you for being online for 60 minutes. Okay. Why does that box come back? Wings? If I load the wings box up and then get rid of it, if I load the wings box and then the mount box and then exit, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, brilliant. We've worked this out. What else have I not clicked on yet? Constellations? Oh, yeah, that was the thing where you can level up as you level up levels. So, the constellation has been fully lit up. Unlock all again. So, the constellation is based on your level, but you advance levels so bloody quickly that there's no point even following through with this. The numbers are just so high. The gallery. Let's have a look at the gallery. That's there still. Oh, good. It's uh, Mr. Pandaria. Pan. He's even called Pan. Hey, guys. There's a panda in the game. What should we call it? Let's call it Pan, to be honest. Is he very slightly animated? He is. He's very slightly moving. Just really, like, breathing. Wendy is good at a lot of things, but her cooking is my favourite. You are Kung Fu Panda. Could you not be any more stereotypical? 
Talk to good friends. I don't want to. I really don't want to. Talk to Teresa. This game is talk to person, the game. That's what it is. Diamond conversion, what does that do? No, sorry, diamond conversio. Free, 10,000 gem conversion attempts. Today's gem conversion history. Convert, free to, oh good, I got 100,000 gold for doing nothing. Sweet. So I don't need to do that anymore. That can go away. Level up gift? Oh no! Hadar Sanctuary. Yeah, let's go and have a look at one of these fights without the big box in the way. Now the artwork is nice. I'll give you that. The artwork is good. In these games it always ends up being, that, being the case. The artwork is gorgeous. The gameplay is subpar. So, right now it's Monetization City. Oh good, it's auto-playing. I don't even get to play the game. Even if I click manual, if I, okay, I'm going to turn auto attack off. Auto attack is off, which means my character will not use any of his three abilities. I'll leave it on two times speed because it'll get there quicker, but I'm just going to let the game play itself. Excellent, we won. Well done. I wonder how, how bad you have to be to lose. How bad do you have to be to lose this game? Black Dragon Captain App. So, App, I'm guessing, would stand for Apprentice. But a captain can't be an apprentice. The point of being a captain is that you're a, a well-trained, learned player. That's the whole point of being a captain. You're not going to Well done, Apprentice. Go be a captain. No, those two words cancel each other out. Again, I'm just not clicking anything. I like the level imbalance. Well, I'm level 39. Eins Hope. Flora's 18. But yet we are just wrecking all these enemies. Oh, good. We leveled up again. And I'm glad that I'm just hanging out in the back, surrounded by my League of Angels. Three. Um, I don't store... The only thing we haven't clicked on... Hello, Ajani Goldmane from Magic the Gathering. What are you doing here? I didn't actually catch that person's name. Whatever you're called. Agnoto. Agnoto. Let's just skip between these things. Wendy, Teresa... Oh good, I got a lot of experience by just talking to people. What's in the store? If I click on the store... Right. I can buy... Soul Flask. A concoction created by the mages of Astro City. Using it can greatly increase one's power. Gonna be honest, Soul Flask? Don't think I need you right now. Kinda doing good. VIP Shop. I... I'm clicking it. Not letting me. Shard Shop. Yep. Obtain Hero First. League Shop? Because obviously they're all different. Illusion Shop. What is that? Inscription stone and the nether shop with the same graphics for things. Right. Oh, you can collapse this, can you? <laughs> so, collapse and expand only actually applies to the divine armor and the gallery. It doesn't actually get rid of any of these things. So, if I click collapse, it, it just, it's just those two. Just two little bits. That's all it gets rid of. Stage Splinter of Stardust, Challenge Chapter 1. As mere pit to claim Natasha exclusive divine. If I click on that, Stranglethorn Veil. That st Stranglethorn Veil. No. You have literally called yourself Stranglethorn Veil. I'm not. That is in World of Warcraft, right? I'm not just imagining that. That is definitely. That is definitely the um, the coastal region of, of Azeroth that you travel to. You, you take you the Horde, you go to Orgrimmar, you take the airship. This, this game is ripped off Warcraft twice. Oh good, and now we're at this location. I've, I've, you know what, this is an hour. I, I, I'm, no, I can't play this anymore. This is just 
This is badly optimized. This is monetized to the extreme. This is a browser-based Flash game that doesn't even run smoothly. I was playing smoother browser-based games back in uni. Freaking RuneScape was a browser-based game for a while, and look what they achieved. Now, we, you could play browser-based games on Newgrounds, on two Flash games. There were so many awesome brow... Battlestar Galactica was a browser-based game, for God's sake. This is an embarrassment. This is overpowered. This is... This is all style and no substance. And the style isn't even good. Like, can I... Can I, I can't even click. I can't even turn autoplay off. You have no choice but to move. All this is is little cinematics between fights. And that's it. League of Angels 3, I don't know, maybe League of Angels 1 and 2, spot on. Fantastic games. But we will never know. We will never know how good or how bad League of Angels 1 and 2 were. There is actually a sequel to this, I believe. I think it's called League of Angels Heaven something. And you absolutely bet I'll be playing it. I can't wait to see where their story goes to. But let's just... Hang on, let's just double click so we... No, no, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Goodness me. Right. Let's sum this up. That character portrait isn't even me. Because my hair is different. I would like to zoom in and show you my hair, but as I do and scroll the mouse forward, because it's a browser-based game, it scrolls the actual thing forward and backward anyway. Graphics are acceptable. Graphics look exactly like you'd expect an MMORPG to look that's not really spent that much money. Saying that, my wolf isn't actually standing on the steps. It's just kind of hovering in the air. Monetization. Ridiculous. You need to pay to have more stamina. You need to pay for VIP. You can pay to get more experience. You need to pay for the Wheel of Fortune, the shop, the events, the charge, the login reward. The seven you need to pay money to get anything. So many upgrade things, so many systems, so many resources, so many heroes, so little time. This is like, you know when like a, like a little kid, like a six or seven year old kid is super excited about something and they just spill everything out to you really quickly and you're like, slow down there champ, tell me things one at a time, slowly, show me what you've got. Oh my god, there's a scratch off card, I've got to do this. Lucky scratch up. There's gambling in the game. There's a freaking scratch off card. Scra use click to scratch. Click and drag. Look at the pixels. Look at the pixels. Oh, oh but if, if the coin goes off, you don't get to keep the coin. It just, it just goes away. Can we just... But if you drag the coin too quickly, it gets destroyed. Oh, you won! 88? Oh my god, I've got 88 diamonds. Fantastic. But but the game's like boom, 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 on the top left. Complete activity quest for chances. Insufficient amount of scratches. Scratch off go. Chapter 1. There are so many systems. Right. Let's sum up. Should you play League of Angels 3? Well, I've got a pretty good computer. I've got a pretty good graphics card, and I like to think I've got pretty damn fast internet, and I lagged with it. So, unless you're running an absolute NASA-level supercomputer, probably won't work. If it does work for you, please let me know in the comments, because I would love to see what this game actually looks like playing properly. Music's generic, map is boring, they've stolen all of their areas from World of Warcraft. I cannot think of a reason you would want to play this game. I now need to go and delete it and double check that it hasn't downloaded anything dodgy to my actual computer. Thank you very much for joining us for the first episode of Awful MMORPGs. Do you have an awful MMORPG you would like me to play? If you know of any terrible game, do me a favor, leave it in the comments down below and I'll see if I can get around to downloading it and playing it. Massive thanks to all my supporters on Patreon and people who subscribe on Twitch. You are the people who make all of my videos possible. Thank you very much for helping me get to 10,000 YouTube subs, which is pretty damn awesome, and I will see you next time. Remember, if you want to join the Patreon, the Discord, the Twitch, or the Twitter, all the links are in the description below. So for now, League of Angels is definitely a no. No, I lie. League of Angels 3 is definitely a no. 
League of Angels 1 we have yet to play. But for now, you guys have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Take care of yourself.